In this video, we're going to learn about Python function parameters and arguments and what the differences are between them. So functions may or may not have parameters. It's totally optional. And a parameter is the function input specified in the function definition. So when you're creating or implementing a function, it'll say def followed by the name of the function and then a set of parentheses. And inside those parentheses are where your parameters go. And that's just input that's coming into your function so that the code within the function can use it. And when you're actually calling the function elsewhere in your program, that data that's being passed to the function call is called an argument. So if your function has five parameters, when you're calling the function, you could pass in five arguments. Also, your parameters can be mutable or immutable. Mutable objects updates can be seen outside the function call, and immutable object updates cannot be seen outside the function call. So let's try out some examples of functions with parameters and passing arguments to them. All right, let's say that you didn't know about parameters and arguments, and, but you knew how to create a function like this. Def sum, and we wanted to add two integers. A is 5, and B is 3, and then print them out. Print sum is A plus B. All right, if I run this program, it's not going to do anything because I haven't called the function. But to, first, I'm going to call the function that and that will print out 8. The sum is 8. Okay, great. What if I wanted to add 5 plus 7? I would have to change my function. And, and I don't want to have to keep changing my function. I want it to be able to control how that fu sum function behaves. And the way to do that is to add something called argument. So wouldn't it be cool if you could just say 5 comma 7 right there? And then this will a will be set to 5 and B will be set to 7. So to do that, what we need to do is add parameters. We'll call them x, comma, y. Then we'll set A to x and then B to y. And what's happening is when we're calling the sum function, 5 is being sent to this function and x becomes 5. So A then becomes assigned to x, which is 5. So A is now 5. Then 7 is being passed to the sum function, so y becomes 7. And then b gets set to the variable y, which is 7. And then it adds up a plus b. So the sum of 5 plus 7 is 12. If I change it back to, or change it to 5 and 2, it tells you that it's 7. And we don't even actually need these variables here. We could just skip all that and just add up the parameters right there, x plus y, to cause less confusion. and this is a little bit simpler. We can add any numbers we want. 25 plus 52 is 77. So again, the integer literals that are going into this sum function call, these are called arguments. And, the, and then here in the definition of the sum function, x and y are called the parameters. 